So hello everybody, it is Friday, it's time for another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every Friday. Now, in today's DAX Fridays, we are going to do part two of contains, because I showed you that contains can actually search text on a column, but that's not the advanced, uh, there is a more advanced functionality to it, and we're going to review it in this video. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so I told you at the end of the video last Friday, I'm going to link it down below, that contains has a very specific syntax because you can access columns from another table and it doesn't need to be related. I think I said that, but that's not correct. You don't need to have a relationship between them, which makes this thing very, very powerful. So I'm going to show you an example of how that would work. So I have here a two tables. I have a sales table product and sales, and then I have a stock table. So some of these products we have in stock. If we would like to know how the sales of the stocked product, we can actually use contains for that. Let me show you. We're going to do you measure sales of stocked product. Oh. We're going to do calculate. As always, the sum, I have, don't have a measure for that. So we need to do the sum of sales. And now we're going to use contain to say, okay, give me the sales of the products that we have in stock. So we're going to do filter and we're going to filter the sales product, the, the sales table, but we're going to use it to filter by contains, that's where our contains function comes in, and contains first you need to have the table, the table it is the stock, the, like the key, you have to give it the key, it's like a cross folder, so you give what key do we need to look here and here in order to get the result, so stock product, and then you need to give it what column on the sales table, which is sales product name, And that's all you need to do. Now I put product name, I put the sales in stock, and this will give us the sales in stock. How cool is that? So now I want to show you this. There is no relationship between these two tables. Yes, you could have one, but you don't need it. You could have them completely unrelated. And now you can tell me, okay, Ruth, but you can do filter and then product equals mm, mm, mm. yeah but if you want to have a dynamic stock table this is a wonderful way so every time a new stock product drops in this calculation will count correctly very powerful stuff isn't it so i hope you enjoy this video interesting function and i'll see you again on monday with another power query video until then enjoy your holidays if you have one yet, and I'll see you again on Monday. Bye-bye.